little devil. <laughs> you could have seen the look on Esme's face when she thought she had Lord Sarney on the phone. <laughs> oh, Esme, m -m -m marry me. <laughs> She's gonna get out of here quick <laughs> enough. I mean, she didn't even dress. She just threw a raincoat on over her naked body. Can you picture her at the airport on her way to London? Those security guards must have had a great show. You know, I still can't believe you pulled such a dirty trick on someone you consider your friend. She's my friend as long as she keeps her mitts off you. Yeah, but she didn't know we were involved or even knew each other. I mean, what's gonna happen when she gets to London and she finds out that Lord Sarney didn't call and that his mother's actually alive and that he has no intention of marrying her? I don't know, but with her temper, I'm glad we'll have an ocean between us. <laughs> that bad, huh? Oh, you don't want to know. Get me to Harmony, fast! Okay. International Airport to Harmony. E what are you doing? I gotta log in the trip. Log it later. Can't you see I'm in a hurry? Okay, okay. Oh, I will get you for this fancy crane. Trying to send me on a wild goose chase to London. I made a complete fool of myself when I talked to Lord Sarney's mother, who is very much alive. <sighs> Getting me to believe that the Duchess was dead and Lord Sarney wanted to marry me. Ugh, that woman didn't think I was crazy before, now she thinks I'm completely insane. Oh, you will pay for this fancy! I know why you did it, too. <laughs> you were jealous, because I was with that totally hot guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is his name? I don't know, lady. You don't know what? The hot guy's name. Were you eavesdropping? How dare you? Well, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking to me. Well, certainly not. I'd have had time to call my limo. I wouldn't be in this rattle trap heap. Now stop listening to my private conversations and get me to Harmony. You will not get away with this fancy. I feel so horrible for my dad and Ivy. I don't know what I would do if that were my little Maria in Ethan's place, just lying there, lifeless. I take it Ethan's prognosis isn't good then. My dad said they don't think he's gonna come out of the coma. This must be really hard on Ivy because he's her favorite. Well, at least that's what Fox says. Oh, I'm sure he's right. After all, Ethan is the love child of your father and Fox's mother. I just really feel for Ivy, especially now since she's making such an effort for us to be close. You are so wrong about Ivy, Kay. She is not your friend and never will be. Fox! Hey, so I finally got the girls to sleep. You were right. Endure's favorite book did the trick. Oh, thank you, Fox. <laughs> We were just talking about Ethan. Yeah, I know. I, I haven't been able to get him out of my mind either. It's hard to believe he may never come out of this, you know? Yeah, it's heartbreaking. Poor Gwen. Yeah, she's probably taking it pretty tough. You know, I was thinking, uh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, it is. I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I bet you, uh, your dad and my mom probably haven't thought about it either. You know, with everything that's going on with Ethan. I was thinking maybe we should have Thanksgiving dinner here. Here? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, hey, I could help put it together, you know, and it might help take everyone's mind off Ethan. So what do you think? Let's uh, have it here? No. no. I don't like this, Roberto. I don't like this. Neither do I, but we have to wait. He'll be here. But what if he doesn't come? We're just sitting here holding on these drugs. I said he'll be here, Paloma. Relax. I don't want to go to jail. Nobody's going to jail, Paloma. Relax. Please. Thanks for the backup, guys. What's going on? We got a tip. There's a drug deal going down tonight. We're going to seal all the exits and do a search. We ready? Let's do it. I wish he'd get here. Isn't the guy late? He'll be here, Paloma. Okay, look. If he doesn't show up in a few minutes, we'll leave, all right? Okay. 
I want to get out of here before anything bad happens. I don't know how you got in here, but you're leaving in a body bag. You get the hell away from him! What the hell are you doing here? What are you, insane? I need to be here, Gwen. I warned you never to come back here again. I have a right to be here. No, you have no right to be here. None. I am going to kill you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mom, are you okay? Brittany. Honey, what are you doing here? Oh, well, the convent is doing some educational forums here at the hospital on HIV, AIDS, and poverty in Africa. They sent me here to help. Oh. Is that about Ethan? Yes. It's his latest test results. I don't know how I'm going to tell Gwen. It's just going to destroy her. Then I can only imagine what it's going to do to Teresa. Stupid bitch! I would hold the hand of the one who could lead me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out You keep me up alive You are the Isn't that our wedding china? Yes, it is. Huh. I'm surprised you remember it. Well, of course I remember it. It was a gift from your mother, Maria. Honestly, I never thought it would have any use or something so fancy, but I have used it every holiday dinner. So what are you doing now? Well, I'm getting everything ready for Thanksgiving, Morton. Are we planning to have dinner here? Well, I certainly don't want a repeat of what happened last year at Tabitha's. <laughs> yeah, that was the strangest holiday I could ever remember. I mean, I guess she thought it would be entertaining, but I still wonder where she got all those live turkeys. I don't know. But I tell you, I think it was a great distraction from all the sadness in our lives. Yeah. And now we have even more sadness. You know, what with Luis and Teresa married to that maniac, Alistair. Hmm. You know... All the years that you were gone, I used to dream of having this wonderful holiday dinner with you, home, and Paloma back with us. But now, Luis and Antonio are dead, and, and Miguel is somewhere still trying to find charity. Teresa is lost completely. Now look at Ethan, he's lying in a coma. I mean, honestly, I, I consider just not even celebrating Thanksgiving at all. I felt like we had nothing to be thankful for, but then I thought about Paloma and how many holidays she has missed with the family, and so I need to do this. I need to do this for her. The contact isn't coming, is he? It doesn't look like it. Roberto, I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's get out of here. I agree. Let's go. Okay. Everybody freeze! This is a raid! No. Uh, okay. Why, why can't we have Thanksgiving dinner here? Well, it's, it's just, it's, a, it's out of the question. Absolutely not. No way. Not here. But why not? There's nothing like family at Thanksgiving. What is that? I have created a traditional Thanksgiving setting. Oh, look, it's starting to break open. And now for the turkey, huh? Oh. And Dora, if our guests see these birds, our goose will be cooked. <laughs> She must have put another growth spurt on that turkey. How am I going to explain this to our guests? What 
the hell was that? Damn it. What was what? Did that bird? It, they looked like it was on steroids. Both of you, enough! You're right, I have had enough. No! Oh, please, stop! 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 Happy Thanksgiving, darling. So, so what's wrong with having Thanksgiving dinner here? Why don't you listen? I won't let you kill him! Get, get out of here! Uh, stop it! What are you doing? Get up! Stop it! He attacked me! Eve, what the hell is she doing here? Just calm down, please. Do you know that Ethan could be hearing this? Yes, that's what I keep telling her, that he could be hearing us. He could be pleading with us to save his get life. Get out of here, you sick bitch. Just calm down. Teresa, you're not supposed to be I'm not going to leave him, Dr. Russell. I won't. Eva, are those Ethan's test results? Yes. They just came in. I wanted to talk to you about it. Hey, what do they say? Is, is he even going to be OK? None of your business. Please tell me those test results. This is it. You're out of here. You're getting thrown out of here once and for all. And I'm going to find out to let you in here in the first place. You're Teresa, gone. Let's go. No, right no, I need to know those no, test results. They're going to try to get out, out of here. No, be here. This is Gwen with her. Please send someone up to the ICU right away. There's a crazy woman stalking my husband. She's gonna kill him, Whitney. Those test results are the only hope I have of saving Ethan's life. That's why I've got to hear what those test results say. Yes, I'm seeing it, my perfect place. Yes, I'm allowing myself to drift, ah, to imagine peace. Tranquility, serenity. Excuse me, lady. I am on the phone with Deepak Chopra, who is helping me from going completely insane before we get to Harmony. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We're here. Harmony. Oh, well, good. Get me to the Bayside Arms. Toot sweet. Thanks, Deepak. You're a gem. I'll talk to you soon. So, uh, this guy on the phone, he helps you to relax? Yes. But now, I need to get back in touch with my anger. <sighs> oh, you think you're funny, Fancy Crane. Wait till you see who is laughing when I pull out your blonde hair by its black roots. <sighs> I guess I should feel guilty about Esme, sending her on a wild goose chase. Esme impressed me as a woman who could roll with the punches. Yes, but like I said, her temper is legendary. Anyway, I'll do something nice for her to make up for it. And to thank her for setting us up in this lovely suite. Yeah, it is a nice room, isn't it? I'd say it's just about perfect. Although it is getting a little bit warm in here. <laughs> you are so beautiful. So are you. <laughs> How's the temperature in here now? It's getting hotter. <laughs> Tell what they're saying in there. I'm sure my mother will fill you in after she talks to Gwen. Look, they can't keep me out, okay? I've got a right to know. You don't have a right to anything, especially as far as Ethan is concerned. Ethan is Gwen's husband. Yeah, but he loves me, Whitney, and I love him, and I'm not gonna let Gwen kill him. Oh, can we stop? Please, stop. Stop being so selfish and ungrateful. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you don't see how lucky you are, that little Ethan and Jane are healthy and that you're healthy yourself. I mean, do you know how many babies are dying in Africa every single day from starvation and from AIDS? No, Whitney, it's, it's always been Ethan that I'm worried about. Yes, I know. I know your world doesn't exist outside your sick obsession with Ethan. But in Niger alone, 3.5 million people are starving to death. The AIDS and HIV epidemic are killing millions of people every single day, primarily women and their children are left with no one to take care of them. Look, 
Whitney, that, that's horrible, all right? But there's, there isn't anything that I can do about that. Yeah, there is. The first thing you can do is care. I mean, everyone can care. That's the first thing we can do to at least try to help people over there. Look, I appreciate what you're doing. I really do. And I hope that you can make a difference. Well, what I can do is try to make people aware. And I can try to get you to see the world beyond your own needs. Okay. All right, look, at, I can, I'll can. i tell you what I can do. I can, I can use the, the crane money and the power and the influence. I can write to politicians, and, and, I'll, and I'll send a lot of money. But right this very second, I need to focus on Ethan and making sure that Gwen doesn't kill him. First of all, why do you keep saying that Gwen is trying to kill Ethan? Because Ethan had this living will, and in it he stated that if he was brain damaged, that he didn't want to be kept alive by machines, so Gwen's ready to take him off life support. He did have a living will. Hey, if that's what Ethan wanted, then that's, that's not what he to... wants, Whitney. That's not what he wants. I know that's not what he wants. That's why I've got to know what those test results say. Oh my God. She's crying, Whitney. This isn't good. Teresa, you don't know what they're talking about. No, they're talking about those test results, Whitney, and she's crying. What's this mean? So what's the deal? If you think having Thanksgiving dinner here is going to be too much trouble, I, I'll take care of the whole thing, really. No, it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> well, what is it? Don't look to me for answers. It's just that, um... um we haven't had much luck with the old holiday parties here. <laughs> huh. I don't... What do you... What do you mean? I mean, uh, last year <laughs> we had Thanksgiving here. And it was... It was pretty chaotic. Chaotic how? Yeah, um, Pilar's husband, Martin, um, he had just gotten back from being missing for like 20 years, and he had Alistair's wife with him, who everyone thought was dead. So naturally, Pilar was like really upset. So, I don't know, the mood was just really tense. All right. Right. Uh, well, look, I don't really foresee that happening this year, you know? And I was just thinking with everything going on, you know, like Ethan being in the hospital and... I mean, come on, Sheridan finding out that Luis is... Well... That he's dead. You know, I, I just... I thought it would be a good chance for everybody to get their mind off the bad stuff, at least for one night, you know? Yeah, it would be wonderful. Yeah. Maybe we should do it at my dad's house. I think that's an excellent yes. idea. Well, no, I, 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 I thought about that, actually, and uh, that is a good idea, but I... I don't. I kind of like to have it here. I, I, I think it would be a good chance for us to show everyone that we're a couple, you know. And uh, I mean, you, me, and Maria, and and of course Tabitha and and Endora would be here. You don't have to cook. I, I'll, I'll cater the whole thing. No, no, no. We can't afford another disaster like last year. <sighs> you are incredible. And you are amazing. Mm. 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 What are you trying to do? Kill me, huh? Mm. I can't get enough of you. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I feel the same way. Mm. Uh, ignore it. It'll go away. Oh, I'd better go. I forgot to put the Do Not Disturb sign out. It's probably the maid wanting to turn down the bed. I'm telling you that the bed is perfect. Will you m m marry me? How 
could you? I'm sorry. It seemed like something fun to do at the time. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, fun. You know, I hope you still think it's fun when I am through with you. I know it's hard to imagine, but I can think of some things that we have to be grateful for. Each other. Yes. I am grateful for that. And I'm grateful to you for allowing me to come back into your life. I want more than anything to have our marriage back, to be a family. Are you really back, Martin? Of course I am. If you and Pilar want to renew your vows and rebuild your marriage, you must renounce me. No. You have to. No, I won't. When we first left Harmony, we thought that Alistair would kill you. Now, as bad as it was for Pilar and the children, I thought I was trying to protect them. I can't think that was wrong. And you left to save my life. I just wish they could understand what a noble act that was. I would do it all over again if I had to. because I know you still have feelings for Catherine. Clara, I spent a lot of years with her. If she's still in your heart, Martin, I, I just need to know because I'd rather lose you now than later on and go through more pain. You're my wife. I want to be your husband again. I am committed to you and our marriage now and forever. And I'm grateful to you for allowing me to come back into your life and for forgiving me for leaving in the first place. Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. The past is the past. The past is the past. You know, Paloma seems to be forgiving me too. Well, she's definitely warming up to you. I mean, come on, she's young. When she's older, she'll, she'll realize that you sent her away for her own happiness. I mean, she's even now, she's starting to understand the sacrifices you made for her. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. We have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. I just, I love her so much, Martin, and I, I wanted to have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Then that's what we'll do. Right. Oh, God, I miss the boy so much, though. And I'm worried about that, Asa. At least we don't have to worry about Paloma. All right, everyone, just settle down. This place is locked down until we get a chance to interview each and every one of you. If you haven't done anything wrong, you have nothing to worry about, all right? Oh, my God. Dios mío, Roberto, what are we going to do? We can't get arrested. Papa will kill me. Shh. Oh, look. All we got to do is get rid of the drugs before the cops get here, OK? OK, OK. Where? Look. There's a trash can over there. We'll move over there, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't look panic, please. We we'll drop the stuff in there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, but well, what if they see us? Don't worry, baby. They're very busy right now talking with a lot of people, all right? They're not watching. Yeah. I think we're okay, but we can't leave yet. No, we can't. We'll try to look innocent, all right? Okay. We're having fun, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. let's see if we have everything. I believe you dropped something, miss. Oh, um. <laughs> That's not our stuff. Oh, no, no. We saw you dump the bozo. I bet you we'll find your prints all over it. Turn around. You're under arrest on suspicious <laughs> drug trafficking. I've got to get back inside so I can no. hear this. No, stay right here. Eve, I don't believe this. This makes things worse. I know. I'm so sorry. Well, maybe there's a mistake here. Maybe you can run the test again. He's tested very accurate. If I ran a new battery of tests, we'd get the same results. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Please. Please tell me those test results, please. I, I need to know. 
sorry I tried to stop her. Teresa, this is difficult enough already. I just please tell me what I need to know, please. No, I'm sorry. No, you know what? Dr. Russell, you tell her. She's the reason this is happening to my husband, so you don't you tell her what she's done. Esme, come on. <laughs> it was just a joke. Please don't be upset. Upset? <laughs> oh, I'm not upset. You know when I was upset? Lord Sarney's mother, who is very much alive and thinks I'm crazy. Now I am not upset. I am furious! I know, and I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You're a piranha! Oh, you just couldn't stand to see me having a good time with that adorable limo driver, Moses. Noah. Whatever. You couldn't stand that I was happy for one second, and so you called and impersonated Lord Sarney and told me that his hag of a mother was dead. Oh! It was a very silly thing for me to do, I know. Oh. <laughs> was it silly? No, it was vicious. Oh. Why didn't you just tell me that you liked him? Um... Noah. Noah. I would have shared fancy, you know that. I know, but there's a reason I did what I did. Oh, I'm sure there is. Just like there is a reason that I am going to do what I'm doing. What are you doing? Oh, this! Let me out of here! Not until I am done with that adorable hunk of a limo driver. I have some catching up to do, if you know what I mean. Esme, let me out of here. Open this door. Esme? Go ahead, Dr. Russell. You can tell her. Tell her what she's done. All right. Teresa, the tests show that Ethan is in an irreversible coma. An irreversible coma? Dear God. What does that mean? What, you don't know what irreversible means? It means he's not going to get any better than he is now. It means his life is over. According to the test, it's unlikely that Ethan will ever come out of the coma. But he's only in a, a coma, right? What did you just say? He's only in a coma? You really are that stupid, aren't you? Don't you understand? He is not going to get any better, Teresa. But he doesn't have brain damage. The living will stated that if he was brain damaged, that you could take him off life support when you can't kill him now, right? Ethan has to be kept alive. Okay, ladies, I know it's a lot to ask, but okay, just think about what it'll mean to your dad and my mom, huh? Having Thanksgiving dinner over here, it'll be like a celebration of their engagement. Plus, it'll give Jessica a chance to warm up to their relationship and I mean, your brother Noah's back home, right? It would be good for my family. I think I'll, um, I'll go and check on the girls. Okay, uh, would you come and have a word with me? About Maria? Maria. Maria. If you don't want folks to find out that Endora and I are witches, talk him out of this insanity. I'm trying. I don't know what else to say. Well, tell him you're allergic to turkey or holidays or something. Just talk him out of it. Something wrong with Maria? Oh, no, 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 no. She's fine. Tabitha just um, wanted to know if she could give her a snack before she went to bed. Before she goes to bed? Hey, listen, this Thanksgiving thing tomorrow, we really need to make a decision on it, you know? Yeah. It really crept up on us, didn't it? Yeah, well, we've had a lot on our plates, you know. Everything, so. Should I plan the menu or what? This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it really does. Um, it's kind of sappy, but, you know, the truth is when I was growing up, I, I never had family traditions. I didn't spend the holidays with my family. I was at boarding school with, well, with myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd like the opportunity to start a tradition with you and Maria, you know, show her how much I love her and you. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. We'll have a big family Thanksgiving and it'll be wonderful. No, this is gonna be great. Are you kidding? <laughs> you won't regret it. 
I promise. <sighs> I hope not. It's funny, isn't it, huh? How a simple set of dishes can have such meaning, such emotional attachment. That's the tradition that comes with the dishes. That's why using them every year is so important. I'm sorry I missed all those Thanksgivings. Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. And we'll get through all the losses together. What? We might just start making our own new happy memories. Starting right now. <laughs> okay. Hello? Papa, it's me. You have to come right away. Uh, Paloma, what, what, what's wrong? Where are you? I, I'm at the police station. I got arrested for drugs. What? Please, Papa, por favor, just come. Yeah, all right, just, just take it easy. I'm on my way. Okay. What's wrong? Is she hurt? No, it's Paloma. She's not hurt, but she's been arrested. Arrested? For what? I don't know, something about drugs. That's not possible. There's got to be a mistake. Well, there has to be, but come on, let's go down there and find out. My parents are coming. They will be here soon. You're going to need a lot more than your parents. You're going to need a lawyer. A good one. Hmm. What's going on here? Right, uh, well, we're planning the menu for Thanksgiving dinner. You should feel free to chime in with anything you may want me to order. Special, you know. Huh. And where are you planning to have this dinner? Oh, yeah, we're having it here. And I know, I know, I know, it's your place, and I know that we're imposing. But really, I'm telling you the truth. You're not going to have to do a thing, all right? Your job will be to sit back and relax. Yeah, have it though. We'll clean and set up everything and all, we'll worry about all the food and everything, so okay. I thought I made it clear that it was not a good idea to have it here. I know, but it means a lot to Fox. And I'm sure everything will be all right, really. I'm gonna go talk to the caterer and get everything set up, all right? Have you lost your tiny mind? Do you not remember what Endora did to us last year? The powers are even stronger this year. Who knows what she'll come up with this time? I know, I just couldn't say no, Tabitha. Fox has never really had a family holiday tradition like Thanksgiving before. It means a lot to him. And I want to give him this memory. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you will give him the memory, all right. Don't forget the spell I cast. Uh, as a favor to you, I might add. The spell that will ensure Fox's success and, and could destroy the love between the two of you. Well, if the spell doesn't work, this Thanksgiving dinner most assuredly will. Oh, this could be a disaster of catastrophic proportions. Esme, damn it, open this door! The joke's over, this isn't funny anymore! Esme! She's doing this. And I'm sure Noah's probably asleep, so he won't know I'm in here. Oh no. She's after Noah. You're even more gorgeous than I remember. You look so lonesome in this great big bed all by yourself. I'm back. Yes, I'm back. If I ever get out of here, you are dead meat. And don't you dare touch Noah, you hear me?
Where is my daughter? Paloma Lopez Fitzgerald. She called us. Yes, I know. Um, Miss Lopez Fitzgerald. I know Luis. Thank you. Um, look, there's got to be some kind of mistake. Yeah, I mean, because... There must be a mistake. Paloma, Dios mío, ¿qué están hablando estos hombres, mija? Please tell me that you are not involved with this. She just confessed to everything. The drugs were hers and her friends. Papa, mamá, lo siento mucho, de verdad. Lo siento mucho. Teresa, Gwen is right. There is very little chance that Ethan will ever come out of this coma. But there is a chance, Dr. Russell. Even if it's a little one, there is still a chance. And Ethan's living will didn't say anything about taking him off life support if he's in a coma, only if he was brain damaged with no hope of recovery. Teresa, there is no hope of recovery. There is always hope, Gwen, always. Now, you cannot kill him. I can't kill him? Um, I'm not the one who put him here. You are the one who poisoned the food that he ate, and I could care less that you meant it for Alistair. Ethan's the one who ate it, and he is lying here in a coma near death because of you. Dr. Russell, please tell me that Gwen cannot take Ethan off life support. It's not in his living will. Teresa, Ethan's living will said he did not want to live on life support if he were brain damaged. He didn't say anything specific about any other circumstances. That's right, which means that Gwen can't do anything, Dr. Russell. She, she can't kill him. Ethan is safe now. Gwen is the one who is going to make a decision about what happens to Ethan. She is his wife. She knows better than anyone what he would want her to do. But he wouldn't want to die, Dr. Russell. Ethan would want to be kept alive. That's what he wanted. It's Gwen's decision, and only Gwen's decision. Eve, you're right. It is my decision. I know what I need to do. No, I will not let you kill him. playing God. If anyone is trying to play God, it is you. I know you. Ah!